Anyway, hi guys, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, with me, Oxfo. And ignore that, if you will. Um, now, first we're just going to go into Horon Village, because we can't actually do anything about us. And, oh my god, it just turned from winter into spring. Let's see how, what this little guy got, uh, got to say. If you get onto the flower, you can shoot up the cliff, too! It works only in spring when flowers bloom, so I'm getting my fill of it. Oh, really? I bet this won't be a handy mechanic later on in the game. Wink, wink. This is Horon Village. Hey, I've never seen you before. The Maku Tree, head east. Now let's see if this actually worked. The reason I'm using um, the Visual Boy Advance emulator on the Wii is because... Uh, okay, this is the one... Nintendo did something here. They realized that um, the Game Boy Advance was coming out. And even though this was a game meant for the Game Boy Color, they put in the Advance Shop right here. Which houses things like different rings and like gasha seeds, which we'll get into later. It, there's nothing actually important in there. Um, just a bunch of cool, cool stuff that you can get in the in, on the Game Boy Color. Unfortunately, Visual Boy Advance isn't doing this emulation as Game Boy Advance. It's doing it as Game Boy Color, so we can't get in there. Um, I guess I'll try to do that with, uh, on my computer emulator at some point, just to show you what's in there, but don't hold your breath. Anyway. This is the house of the wise know-it-all birds! See them if you have questions! And they basically are tutorial through the game. Anyway. It goes from hot- oh wait. It goes from hot to cold in a flash! The seasons are in out of chaos! What will we do to this year's harvest? It'll do crazy things to it, of course. But anyway, anyway, we're in a hurry. Let's go actually meet the mayor of this town. In here, because... I do not have an ulterior motive in going to Zoom. This is the mayor's home. The mayor is fascinated with gasha nuts now. The place, planter, and the planter's deeds affect what the nut produces. The mayor found a good place recently. So he is quite happy. And I just turned southern within the space of a conversation. I'm Rule, mayor of Horon Village. Do you have any gasha seeds? If you plant one in soft earth, it will grow into a tree that bears nuts. Inside those nuts, you'll find all sorts of things. It's so fun I can't help myself. There's some soft earth just outside. Plant it there. You don't know about Gasha Seeds? You're missing out. I'll give you my prize Gasha Seed to welcome you to town. And we get a Gasha Seed. Planted in a patch of soft soil. As some soft earth just outside. Plant it there. I guess we will. Why not? We'll take... We'll take... Advantage of your hospitality. <laughs> and we can plant the Gasha Seed. So, we will. And this will basically take... A little time to... To sprout. It's not that bad at all, actually. Um, not compared to other games where you have to wait for stuff to sprout. Uh, what else do we have? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Boring, boring, boring. Boring, boring, boring. Boring. Painter. Do you know of the Hero's Cave near the western coast? A hero's sword is said to be hidden there, but no one has ever found it. Well, I, 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 I'm intrigued. Maybe we'll go check on that later. But for right now, we're gonna go see Bippin' and Boppin' and Teetly Toppin', or whatever their names. I am Bippin', the expert arborist. I know plenty about trees. Now let me tell you something. Blossom and I just had our first child. Yes, we did! Have a look. Oh, no, 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 I just talked to you. I was ending the conversation. Have a look! Have a look! Ah. <laughs> I... Mmm. Mmm. Let, let's... Let's tone down the high pitch for a second. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do a Blossom from Powerpuff Girls voice for her, but no. I am Blossom. This is my first child. A healthy baby boy. But I am having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? Well, I'm gonna name him after the Hero of Time. Why not? Got nothing else? 
better to call him. You would name him Link? Mmm, maybe not. Yeah, I would. What am I talking about? <laughs> I just wanted to do that. You would name him Link? Yes, I would. It's a fine name. That's what I'll call him. He seems happy to have it. Come visit any us any time. Aww. I'm happy that the baby is happy. But anyway. Hmm. What is this mysterious stare? <gasps> what is that? We'll find out later. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, um... I seem to be having troubles. Oh, we gotta talk to Vashu first. The Snake Master? Do come in! I am Vashu, the jeweler! Is this your first time? Then let me explain jewelry. Rings made from mystical seeds have very mystical powers. If you wear one, its mystical power will be passed to you. But you must keep it in your ring box. The mystical power will gradually weaken, and you won't be able to use it. Understood? Uh, yeah. Oh, you don't have a ring box? I like you, so here, take this ring box. You got a level one ring box. It can hold one ring. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bind them all in, in the darkness. Find them. Oops. <laughs> Messed that up, but anyway. Take this ring as a sign of our friendship. You got a ring. Get it appraised later. Until you had a ring appraised and its power revealed, you cannot wear it. Let's appraise it. Which one shall I appraise? Appraise this? Yeah. Hmm, I see. I call this the friendship ring. Symbol of a meeting. Basically, it does nothing. It signifies that we met him in the game. I'll appraise this one for free this time, but after this, it'll be 21 rupees per ring. If you get two, he'll buy the second one for 30, and when you appraise him, it'll go into your list. When... If you want to use it, you have to move from your list to your box. Yep, like that. Rings do nothing unless worn. And now from here, you have to... Oh, that's the map. I'm 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 the map. Oh, come on. How do I... <sighs> Shoot. I know how to do this. That's right. Okay, start select. Now, basically, you go down to your ring box, and you select the ring, and it'll show as equipped. Again, this isn't important right now, but it will be later, because there are some very useful rings. Very useful rings. They basically take the place of the ar different armors later on in the game that you have in Ocarina of Time. Anyway. In the west part of town are the mystical know-it-all birds. See them if you have a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just sleeping, so. Anyway, let's go see this Maku tree. If I can read the sign. There we go. Maku tree gate. Show courage to gain passage. Hmm. It looks like we gotta do something first. Well, they said that true heroes go to the hero's cave in the west. So let's go check that place out. So yeah, basically what I wanted to do here is because I cannot... I cannot get screen recording working correctly on my computer. So I'm gonna be doing it this way instead. You know, just recording on my sister's Wii, so... But, I mean, it's a nice setup. You get to see it in a much different light than you ever have before. Let's... Miss these Octoroks! Oct... Tektites! <laughs> Reminds me of the Hero's Cave! Reminds me of the commercial from, um... <laughs> the actual first Legend of Zelda with the guy freaking out like... <gasps> Tektites! <laughs> Keys! He's just, like, freaking out like... Zelda! Like, Legend of Zelda, you gotta find Zelda! Like, it's just a big hide-and-seek game instead of an actual adventure game. So yeah, most of the puzzles are straightforward, because it is the first level. And we don't even have a weapon yet, so... Ah. I wonder what this button will do. Pretty straightforward, so... Um, basically, if you haven't played another Game Boy Zelda game, these guys will jump onto you and you can't use any items while they're on you, but they won't do any damage. Keys are keys. They will fly into you and hurt you. <laughs> um... Right. And that's all the enemies we've met so far. Um, Octoroks work exactly the same as they did in the first Legend of Zelda. They walk around, you stab them, they shoot rocks at you, you can block the rocks with a shield. The only difference with this game is, well, I'll show you in a second. 
The only difference with this game... Well, no, I just said I'd show you in a second. Why am I going to start right now? Go through the door! And what could this chest be? It's the end dungeon. Is this a heart container? No, it's the wooden sword. This is truly a sign of courage. Hold A or B to power it up, then release it for a spin attack. So basically, if any of you have played Link's Awakening or any of the other Oracle of Anything games, you know how this works. Um, unlike most games, most Legend of Zelda games, we do not have the sword set to a specific button. We can set it to any button we like. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to set it to A because I am using the Wiimote and that the A button for me is the 2 button, so it just it's just easier. Um, and we're actually going to jump right back in because right up here is a hidden chest that we couldn't get before, so we're going to get it now. Got 30 rupees, that's, that's pretty nice. And it's 40 rupees to get our first shield, so... But, 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 before we go anywhere, there is a little secret down here. What we want to do is we want to kill all these keys. I think there's three of them in this room. Let's just make sure. Right, and I believe we want to push this block? No. It's one of these blocks that we need to push. I can never remember which one it is, though. That one. And we have a secret stair. Now, you can't just go in and push that block. You do have to kill the keys first. But we just go down here, and what's that? That is a Gasha Seed. Which again, these come in handy because this is where we get our rings, for the most part. Um, it's randomly driven, so... There's no telling what ring you're gonna get. But... It's a fun little mini-game thing anyway. It's not even a mini-game, it's a fun little side quest thing. So... Anyway, that's the Hero's Cave, and now we got the sword. So... We're running... Eh, I'm just gonna end it here. It seems like a good place to end it. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Mio Expo. Take it easy, guys. You know, it's funny. Whenever I do that, I do like a little salute with the Wiimote. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.